Hey guys, Julie from Miller's Crossing Design and the board we're going to be doing in your kit that you received is this beautiful round wooden board with um, white swan paint and the transfer from IOD which is Botanist Journal. And I'm going to show you step by steps on how to apply the paint, apply the transfer, the handles, and the top coat finish. Cute little tray at home with our wooden round boards here and our paint that we sent you in your kit and the transfer that we sent you. So the first step of this project is to kind of prepare your wooden round and then apply your paint. So I kind of just make sure it's nice and smooth so you might have to get some sandpaper out and kind of just sand it down. So now I'm going to start with my paint and we're sending you either beadboard or white swan. Uh, I can't remember which one is which but so you just want to apply it with your brush and any brush is fine to apply it. Now I like to use water with my Debs DIY paint, love it, to kind of move it around. So I use my spray bottle and my water and it kind of pushes it around the board. And I'm not the neatest painter, just so you know, FYI. This paint dries really quickly, so you'll be able to, in about an hour, um, go through and lightly sand it, and then if you need to or you want to, apply a second coat. But since you'll be applying a transfer over it, you really don't have to get too heavy on the paint. You just wanna make sure that your board is covered. Perfect. So now that our board is covered, we're going to let it dry and then we'll check back into you for the next step. To speed up the process of the drying of the paint, because it's a clay based paint and it dries really quickly, you can use a blow dryer. Once you have it dried to where you would like it, I would wait at least an hour for it to completely dry, and then we'll start to apply the transfer. We'll be right back. So once your board is completely dry and you can feel it with your hand and no paint comes off, okay, you're gonna take your sandpaper and you're gonna lightly sand it, just to kind of make sure it's smooth, there's no added paint, bumps, okay. And just prepare your board. Okay, so next step, we are going to look at our transfer. All right, so I pulled out my transfer out of my tubing and I'm gonna look at it. Now some of this, you're gonna get a whole transfer. I've used other parts of my transfer for other projects, hence the board that I did previously, the finished project. There is inside of here a little, um, I don't know what they call it, kind of tool, but a, one of our um, avid attendees gave us this bone file and it works great for our transfer. So I'm gonna use that to apply the transfer. You can lay out your transfer however you desire. This is your project. So I'm just gonna look at what I have left here to place on this board. So. And I see that there's some of the wording up there so let me just take some time and I'm gonna lay it out and I'll get right back to you. All right, so I've cut out around a couple areas of my transfer that I wanna use. And I'm just gonna lay this out and kind of layer it. Um, some of the parts I will use, some of them I won't use, I'll move them around. But it, like I said, it's very, very fun to do however. And, you, and I don't think you can mess up. So here I go. So when you apply the transfer and you place it where you want, I just kind of rub over it gently. And then I start to rub in areas and you will see that it's really colorful and then it's not so colorful. So that means the transfer is applying to your piece. 
So you will continue to go until you have the transfer where you want it and applied to your piece. So I'm gonna finish applying this and then I'll check back in with you. So as I finish up my transfer, one thing you can know is that you'll see it start to pull off. As you can see, it's starting to come off on the wood. So if you are struggling with it, just gently rub and pull, gently rub and pull. These are great transfers from IOD. Um, they really do come off nice and easily and don't take much work, which is nice because we don't have much elbows. So after you apply your transfer, we are going to top coat it and then apply our handles. So you can apply the top coat with any type of sponge that you have, that's what I prefer. Just to seal up this nice and transfer, it also brings out the colors in the transfer that you have chosen. All right, so after you've applied your top coat, you're gonna let that sit and dry. But since I already have a finished one, I'm gonna show you how to apply the handle. So your kit will come with your handles. If you're not buying the kit and you went out to Home Depot and got handles, they're really simple to apply. So pre-drill your holes into your board. Once your handles are applied, your kit is complete or your project is complete and you can enjoy. <laughs>